Well, DC, you're not fighting tonight, but I know you're anxious as I am as Conor McGregor returns to the proven ground here tonight. This is the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history and a damn good fighter, too. Let's see what he does here tonight. I have no horse in the race, but the butterflies are kicking my stomach up and down because every time Conor steps into the octagon, it feels like a momentous occasion. Yeah. One of the biggest stars in all of sports, he transcends the sport of mixed martial arts. A guy that has a fantastic left hand, he's very quick, he's a master of, ma of managing distance, managing space, and the speed and the ability, the eyes of Conor McGregor is something that we don't pay enough attention to when we watch him fight. And of course, every time he competes, all eyes are on Conor McGregor, and yet more often than not, he doesn't show up flat on fight night. He rises to the occasion. The Jose Aldo fight certainly is the one that people will historically talk about, but let's see how it goes in this spot for Connor here tonight. The notorious Connor McCrackett ready to battle and take home that elusive USC goal. Defending undisputed UFC welterweight champion Leon Rocky Edwards. Obviously, there weren't many people picking him to beat Kamal Usman at UFC 278. But that fight was scheduled for 25 minutes. He needed all of them. He produced one of the greatest highlights in UFC history. He, he needed 24 minutes and 30 seconds in order to become the champion. But he never gave up on himself. It seemed as though everything was trending in the wrong direction and he got the job done. Leon Edwards is a phenomenal fighter. He's very well rounded, and he's real big for the weight class. Yes. And you see his physicality come into play in that first round against Kamaru Usman, taking him down and controlling him on the ground. Right. But tonight he has a different challenge. He doesn't have the guy that brings all the accolades. He has a young, hungry lion that's looking to knock him off his throne. We will see how Leon handles this challenge, but of course, increased eyeballs on Leon Edwards given what he was able to accomplish in becoming the fan at 170 pounds. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. It's the first. Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the notorious Connor McGregor! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Leon Rocky. As he should be, because he's the bigger guy. Conor McGregor once fought at 145. You could never see Rocky Edwards fighting 145. He's massive for the weight class. But in terms of the striking, this is going to be so fun because the traps that Conor McGregor sh can set can get anybody out of their game. But the question becomes, does the left hand still get the desired results at 175? We've seen Leon Edwards take shots from big guys can he take shots from, his, from the notorious? Edwards goes for the clinch here, and this is just a means by which to recover. He is stunned. Beautiful kick lands there. He landed it perfectly. Perfect. 
perfect placement, perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. Well, DC, this is what the fans paid to come and see. Multiple knockdowns on one side in that round, and it's amazing to think that as we sit here, this fight's not over yet. It's not over yet. There's no three knockdown rule, like in boxing. Right. So as long as the guy gets up, right. the guy can continue to fight. It is, a, it is a phenomenal fight. We knew it when the matchmakers told him that they were putting them together. Great fight, and it's truly delivered. Ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five yeah. oh, 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 oh. there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a he has as smooth as he was on his first test in elementary school. Big ground strikes Good continue job. to land. Dean steps in. Oh my goodness. What a fight. So no judges needed tonight as he pounds him out for the TKO. I'm hoping I get an invite to the after <laughs> Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 45 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, the notorious Connor. So what a moment for the biggest superstar this sport has ever seen. Conor McGregor, your winner by TKO. Beautiful performance by McGregor. He did everything he wanted to do inside the octagon tonight. And